I do. Lights out. That's the first time I've ever written anything. I wrote it for uh, originally for a class that was supposed to be a 40 page final and now it's a 120 page thing. And uh, I always loved wedding farces, but the problem with wedding farces is there's no popular ones within that genre that uh, have any LGBTQ characters whatsoever. And also everyone in the wedding farces tend to be written unrealistically sympathetically. So I thought I should write one with some gayness and some bitchiness and see what stuck. It's a farce and it's at the same time it's incredibly important and there's a lot of things in it that are very much worth saying and uh, relevant right now so I think that it's really funny and really entertaining but it's also um, an incredibly beautiful show and I think that that's a really amazing combination of things. Wedding farces in particular don't mention homosexuality at all. Um, and they also always end happily and are everybody sort of just like together at the end and everything's fine um, But that's not really how life works out. So he wanted to incorporate um, Some more sexuality issues into it make it really complicated and crazy and, and have maybe a sort of like it's a happy ending But it's a like little bit of a twist from where you think it's going so it's a wedding farce But it's a it's a unique wedding farce Boys writing the show and we're workshopping yeah. the show, like awesome. I feel like as it would be workshopped pretty authentically. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just really exciting to be a part of. Our first weekend of shows is an open uh, reading sort of thing, sort of like this. Still with music stands, still with scripts in front of us, we'll solicit feedback from the audience. And then the second weekend is a full-fledged production, memorized, uh, no more feedback, the script is frozen. This is gonna be so fun. This oh my god. It's gonna be such a fun this show. Is, I'm so psyched. <laughs>